Hey everybody, welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to do your pick a card love reading today. Today's reading is going to focus on who is your next boyfriend. And this is a pick a card reading, which means you're going to choose a pile that you're drawn to to receive your messages about your next boyfriend. I'm gonna give you details about what they look like, how you might meet, all that good stuff using tarot, using oracle messages, charms, lots of good stuff. So get comfy, get cozy. Um, if you've been here before and you like my readings, please be sure to click that subscribe button. Um, and if you come back all the time, just subscribe. It's free. It's easy. I found out that a lot of my viewers haven't subscribed. And maybe I'm thinking maybe the reason is because you don't, you think that it's a a payment of some sort, but it's not. It's just like following someone. So be sure to click that button. We have a goal here and we're doing great, you guys. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers this summer and we're really moving in the right direction. Thank you, everyone. Um, we started the week at 14,000. We're now at 14,000, almost 200. I really, really appreciate all of you. So yeah, just click that button. That is so, so helpful. Helps get my you know channel out there it helps me it helps support me and um, allows me to keep going and you can also um, click the little heart thanks after the video if you want to leave a tip or donation you can also go to my website the link is below if you want to get a reading like today's shout outs okay before we take a closer look I'm going to do a couple of shout outs um, the first one is for India India wants to know when she's going to meet her boyfriend so she did a one card one question shout out. Okay, hi India. Thanks for being part of the channel. Ooh, India. So it looks like there's some healing that's going on um, that, you know, either you or they are in the process of going through. We're getting Aquarius energy and this is the 17. So we could be talking about, I think in this case, because it was reversed um, within a year and a half. Okay, like 17 months is what I'm what I'm feeling for this energy because it does feel like there's something that that the, either that person or you is working on. Um, and it's divine timing because we are we do have the star card so um, that's what it's feeling like for you today India there's your shout out thanks so much if you want more if you want to go a little deeper I do a three card reading India you can certainly go ahead and book that okay so speaking of my three card reading spiritual goddess let's see what you asked for let me open up your request okay spiritual goddess asked what who is coming towards me in the next three months okay so let's get you your three card reading what is coming towards you in the next three months Ooh, so we're starting with the three card i love it three of cups four of swords reversed and the world reversed okay so Here's what I see in the next three months for you. Um, I see that there are definitely people around you who are supporting you. Um, the best opportunity for you in terms of relationship energy is coming in the first part in the, in the next month. I would say take advantage of going out and doing as much as possible because then we see the Four of Swords reversed and the world reversed. So the energy is a little bit um, more blocked, but we are moving towards a big major shift for you, um, it's just a little bit delayed. So I think the relationship coming in could be major. And I would say in the next month is the best time for you to take advantage of the energy in the stars to kind of um, go out, accept invitations. There could be a connection with friends, um, whether you're out celebrating together or you're at a party together, um, or there's female energy around you that is definitely going to connect you with love. Um, so uh, I love that and I love the next month for you. And I think you're moving towards having some big major changes in your life, but you know, you still have time. You have things that have to kind of a line but I do see that first month from now until a month from now for being a really great opportunity for you in terms of love 
Okay, so there is your three card reading, India. I mean, excuse me, spiritual goddess. Um, India was my first reading. Um, and thank you so much for being part of the channel. Okay, so if you'd like your question answered, as I said, just go below um, and go to the link to my website and you can book yours. Okay, let's get started today on our reading. We have four beautiful choices. The pile number one, you have the gold shell. Pile two, you have the selenite pyramid. Group three, you have the crystal perfume bottle. And group four, you have the sun candle. I was going for a kind of golden sunshine feeling. And um, so let's see which energy you connect with. As I said, take a deep breath in, exhale. And if you are drawn to more than one pile, that's perfectly fine. Listen to as many or as few as you want. These are general messages. So take what works and leave the rest behind. What is meant for you will come to you. So it's one, two, three, four. Timestamps are below. Hey, number one, you picked the gold shell. Here's your reading about your next boyfriend. Um, I actually painted this shell and I love it. Um, I'm obviously into shells. Af shells are a symbol and sign um, for Aphrodite, the love goddess. And um, so I'm excited that you chose that. And maybe you have a connection to the ocean. Maybe you have a connection to um, water or water signs. Um, just like beautiful things, shiny things. But let's see how that connects to your reading. We're going to start with your tarot messages. Ooh, so you're starting with the world. Make a little space. These cards are a little larger. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, and the King of Cups. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I picked these. Um, not knowing what was underneath. So that is really beautiful. This is definitely confirming for me this beautiful water sign energy. We have the shell and we have the king of cups. So I absolutely love that. Um, but let's not jump ahead, but we do have the king and queen here. So we have beautiful energy that's really matching one another. Um, I would say that you do have something really special coming up in terms of your next boyfriend, that water sign energy. But let's start over here. Um, so we're starting with this big moment. You're starting with the world card, which is a major arcana. And it's really about, um, you know, having big changes in terms of your life, reaching some sort of pinnacle, something you've worked really hard for. And in terms of this love reading, I feel like there is definitely a connection between work for you and love, okay? Um, this person is coming through as someone who is going to help you, somebody who um, is going to sort of um, be that support that maybe you haven't had in the past. Um, I do see a lot of work connections here. We got two pentacle cards right in the center of your reading. We have the eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles. And so this is really about, you know, apprenticeship, working on something, learning a skill, working really hard, um, and this is about sharing, sh like, you know, community, sharing your resources. Um, these two together, I love because I feel like it's almost like you work together and then you go out for a group, you know, dinner, a group outing. Um, that's what it feels like with this particular Six of Pentacles rather than, you know, the sharing. Because it is about sharing and it is about sharing resources. But this feels so like 
literal to me like you're all at you know dinner somebody brings a bottle of wine somebody brings this it's like you're at a friend's house um so I feel a connection between like work and be being friends and then um becoming more than that okay um and I think part of it is because it's so funny I see you here you are you're coming through as the queen of swords um the queen of swords is very direct um, a lot of times this can be air sign energy. So maybe some of you are Libras or Aquarius or Gemini, sun, moon or rising. Um, maybe you're in the communication field or maybe you're just somebody, regardless of what your sign is, your zodiac sign, you're just really direct um, and you speak your truth. You speak up for yourself. You're very direct. And we have your person coming in who is the king of cups um, this is a lot of water sign energy and um, that would be cancer scorpio pisces we'll get more details but you also chose the shell um, so there he is a lot of times i see this king in particular as a pisces just because there's so many fish references the captain the boat um, this person could have a connection to boats or to um, loving the water or maybe taking a trip together but it's like i feel like you are the person represented by being like <laughs> you're like the person who is very like calm and still and this is the emotional person so you're the more practical and they're the more more emotional okay but you guys balance each other out and i love that we got king and queen energy which means you're at the same level like you're at the same point in life you're both mature you both want the same things no matter what your age it's just a much more mature relationship um, than some of the others so that's really nice Nice. I love seeing that. Um, but yeah, there's that work in the center, but also that meal getting together, um, you know, sharing a meal. This person could also be connected to food service industry or you could too. I'm feeling some of you are um, in the restaurant business, chefs, um, private chefs, cooking, but also that friend and work energy. Um, so maybe some of you even are taking a course or becoming going to culinary school and then you meet there and you guys are sharing a meal I'm kind of thinking like top chef is coming into my head so for some of you maybe that resonates if you know that show and you're in the states um but that that is the energy there's this camaraderie there's this like there's this closeness um and and this ease between you okay um all right so that's definitely the start and now let's get some more information i'm going to pull you some oracle messages first let's start with the crystal oracle oh conviction red jasper number 25 and this is the edaman star okay oh i love this because it's like mirrors down here which is also a symbol of Aphrodite, um, conviction, red jasper. I love this because we also, with conviction, we have this like hard work and we had the 10 of wands, which is kind of like, tr you know, pushing forward. And we have the eight of pentacles, which is all about, um, you know, that work, that craft, that apprenticeship, learning something. So I think, do think for some of you, there is this connection to a course, to do, to learning a skill, to getting better at something and you have the number 25 some of you that could be your birthday their birthday or a date that is important to you okay and it's interesting because the message of this card the conviction card is really about staying the course you know sticking to your conviction speaking your truth which is very much like the queen of swords um with that eight of pentacles and the ten of wands i get this energy of like having to push forward um and and being very decisive you know i think that's what leads you to this relationship is like not giving up and knowing that um what you believe um and you know what what you really are and at your core with that six of pentacles the community you surround yourself with brings you closer to this person so be true to yourself that's what i'm really getting that's
that's the message I'm getting there, um, especially with that Queen of Swords speaking your truth and this sense of community in the center here and this big moment where you're going to finally get, you know, rewarded for all that you've done. Um, I see you as a really good, honest person and, you know, somebody that needs and wants like a, a genuine connection and that's what this person is. Okay, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Wow, interesting. So more of the earth sign messages. Now we're getting Virgo. We had the eight of pentacles, the six of pentacles. Um, the new moon in Virgo would be happening in September. So there could be a connection to the two of you meeting. That could be the moment when you come together. Okay, it could have some significance. Um, and I love the idea of giving rather than taking with that six of pentacles because that message is about sharing and community and giving there's definitely this energy of caring concern community healing health all coming through for you okay very strong um let's get you an overall from the french fortune Ooh, there's more knowledge and learning. You got the book card, number 26. We have 25 and 26. Those dates could become important. We also had September and um, that more about learning, about taking a class, about your, perfecting your craft. Um, you know, for some of you, it's actually about taking a class, like I said. For some of you, it's about working really hard to get good at your job, whatever that is, or something that matters to you, and sharing that. And you're really close to reaching a goal. And I think that this person comes through because you are working towards your goals. Okay? Beautiful. Now I'm going to pull you one of my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. What does Aphrodite want you to know about this connection? Red Anemone, Aphrodite's Flower, Favorite, True Love, Treasure, Monogamy, Number 22, You Are the Only One. Okay, I love treasure because we have a seashell, which is a treasure, which you take from the beach. Um... We have like knowledge and, um, and, 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 you know, like, I'm just thinking of like tre tre treasuring the same things, caring about the same things. Um, and you have conviction, which is, um, you know, being focused on one thing and that monogamy is coming through plus number 22. So yeah, this person is devoted to you. This is a true love energy that is going to be a monogamous relationship and something like 22, 25, 26. We're definitely like the third week of the month, possibly in September. Okay. Now let's see what other signs and symbols come up. We have first house, Pluto, Leo. Ooh, okay. So in astrology, Pluto is all about transformation and change, deep, deep change. And with the first house in Leo, this is about shining and standing tall in your truth. I love this because you're being the queen. You're being a Leo. You're, you're, you're standing tall. You're the queen of swords here. So that energy is about speaking your truth and really coming into your own. Also with the world card, I'm definitely getting for a lot of you and please write below if you're claiming this and you're really connecting that you have a big project or you have some big life event or something coming up that is like a culmination of hard work okay and if that's you please write below because I'd love to hear and it could also just be you know um working really hard on yourself, um, working hard at being a good person, doing all the right things, and wanting love, having that missing piece, and this person is part of your puzzle coming together. So I love it. All right, now let's do a charm reading for you. Now, if you haven't done the charm reading before, if this is your first time visiting, it can be a little loud on your ears. If you've got headphones in, you might want to turn them down. 
Um, while you're doing that, I'm going to remind you, do all the fun things, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Subscribe, subscribe. We're so close. We are moving forward. We've went, gone from 14,000 to 14,200. We have 200 new subscribers. Hi, everyone. Thank you for hitting that button. I love you guys. Um, let's get 200 more. I know you're out there. It's free. Just click the button. And if you'd like a reading, a one card or a three card reading done in my next video, if you have a love question, just click the link below and get a shout out reading. I did one today for, um, I did one for India, hi India, and I did one for spiritual goddess, hi spiritual goddess. So thank you for being part of the channel, okay. First thing I notice is the sea turtle because we're talking about the king of cups. We have the um, the seashell, and I just felt feel this um, coming home, the sense of home, the sense of family, um, and also that water sign energy. You have Sagittarius coming through. Maybe some of you have Sagittarius placements, um, or there's like foreign energy, but also Sagittarius is about learning and education and higher education um, skills you know seeing the big picture learning about things um, some of you could be going to university or learning a new trade or skill and that could connect you or be a message about this relationship you also have the good luck symbol which is the penny here in america um, good luck good fortune and you have the tree which is that family energy but also growing something solid and that gives me a lot of that community energy of the six of pentacles um, so that's beautiful and you've got my virgo charm with the new moon in virgo so that's definitely an important part of this that virgo message could be a virgo um, person coming you're a Virgo or just like that that doing detailed work okay because we got also I love this because look at this person they're really doing like detailed work using their hands um, so we're getting a lot of confirmation here with the charms about um, the messages that we receive that's what I love about charms sometimes they just add another layer Okay, everyone. So those are your messages today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please let me know. I love hearing that you enjoy it. And I love hearing your stories and connecting. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all those good things. Thank you. Thank you for tips and donations. It really helps me, supports my channel. I am sending you lots of love and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number two, here's your reading. You chose the selenite pyramid so let's start with your tarot messages you have the nine of swords you have the hermit and you have the six of cups okay nine nine there we have the death card reversed under that nine of swords the three of cups and the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful, under the Six of Cups. Okay, wow. Um, so this is really interesting. What I see for you is that um, this this could have been this could be something that's been weighing on your mind. You know, there's a lot of stress around the Nine of Swords. It's really about like literally being up at night. It's you know that just things that are really, really weighing on you. So they wake you up in the middle of the night and you're just like, I can't get this stuff out of my head. I can't sleep. By the way, I totally relate. I haven't been able to sleep well myself. Um, and whenever there's a lot going on in your life, and sometimes when there's not a lot going on in your life, your brain doesn't have, like it tries to work things out at night and it keeps you up. With the death card reversed, I feel like there's something, a major ending, whether it's a relationship or, you know, something in your life that needs to come to an end that's been hard for you okay um hard to let go hard to move on because the death card is reversed death card is not about death like literally it's about endings okay endings 
have to precede new beginnings. So that's the good news because I see a lot of beautiful energy coming for you. But I see this struggle um, maybe in the recent past where you were really worried about this relation about a relationship or some aspect of your life, something that you knew had to end that you were having st time struggling with, um, releasing. Okay. And then what I see here is like you maybe used to be a really social person um, and, you know, w went out with friends and did a lot of things, but you've kind of withdrawn recently and you've been kind of the hermit because of all that's gone on in the past here. It's kind of maybe given you a reason to sort of pull back from public things, maybe pull back from specific people. Um, Maybe you just don't feel like you have friends right now. You don't have a group of people around you and you're feeling isolated and lonely. And you just don't feel like, you know, you, you just are taking time to yourself to sort of process all of this, which is good. The Hermit card is a good card. It's about getting that wisdom. You have that wisdom within and it's just about accessing it. Okay. And I love this card because it's a little Hermit crab. Um, but what I see coming up for you, which is beautiful, is this person, okay? So what I'm getting with the Six of Cups is someone who is either from your childhood, from your past, connected to your family in some way, um, maybe connected to where you grew up, the state that you lived in when you were younger, or the town you were from, um, or some connection to your family, um, but I see this as a really beautiful connection. I see someone coming in who is this combination of water and earth, someone who's really emotional but solid, someone you can count on, okay? No swords over here in the future, total swords here and stress in the past. So I want to let you know that things are moving in the right direction and this person is definitely a positive welcome like change for you. Okay, um, because they're coming through as romantic. Um, someone that, you know, maybe if they're not from your childhood, they remind you of childhood. Or they're just, you know, like I said, it's just there's something innocent about this love. But they are very solid um, inside. They have a good family or they have solid structure or they're just solid within themselves. So they're not just um, romantic. They actually have like they walk the talk. Okay. You know what I mean? Like this person is the real deal. So this is beautiful energy. I am so happy to see it because I see that you have probably been through um, some tough times, some anxiety causing situations, um, you know, some difficulty in the past in terms of love. But what I see is you getting this wisdom maybe eventually getting that support of friends back and then being able to reconnect with that that person either reconnect with them or reach you know um meet them okay but they definitely have this energy of someone who reminds you of the past if they're not from the past okay um and it's all positive okay so I love it, love it. Let's get some more details. We're gonna start with the Crystal Oracle. Okay, you have a message of transcendence. Moonstone, number one, the crown chakra, wow. That is absolutely beautiful. I love that because you have the hermit card right in the center and there is this sense of really making this change, letting go of something and having a new beginning. I think that this is so beautiful um, given your reading here because there feels like, um, like a real true need on the part of your soul to remember um, like the karmic lessons of the past with the hermit card with the death card reversed and that nine of swords it's like I think that your soul's been through a lot and you are to the point where it's like you have learned a lot of karmic lessons you're ready to release them and move to this 
much more positive place where you can kind of guide and help others and you can really evolve as a soul. And so this is the number one and I feel like it's focusing on yourself, focusing on letting go and learning from those lessons. Um, with the death card reversed, you really struggled to do that. You struggled maybe staying in those, those past experiences or those difficult lessons when it came to love, um, but you're moving past that. So that's really beautiful. And this person coming in is like a fresh start, the number one, not part of that old karmic patterns, okay? They definitely could be, like I said, someone who is romantic, who reminds you of things that make you feel comfortable, but they're not part of like those tough, tough lessons that you've probably dealt with, okay? So wow, that's an empowering card, the Moonstone. So maybe if you want to work with the Moonstone, maybe some of you are um, born in July or you love Moonstone, um, you really connect with that energy. That could also help you now if you're going through this sort of transition. Okay, beautiful, perfect. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Yeah, have faith, you know. Sometimes it's really hard, you know, when we've gone through difficult things, you obviously have had a lot of anxiety and stress. Um, it's tough, but have faith because I do see this beautiful energy coming through for you. Okay, let's get an overall from the French Fortune. Beautiful. Look at that. You got tree. And tree is all about healthy, um, productive. Um, you know, this can be family. This is planting roots, something growing over a long period of time. It's like the things that you plant now are going to, you know, grow into this big tree. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is that earth sign energy of stability and family, and you got the tree. So yeah, I just think that this person's going to give you a lot of stability, a lot of um, like healthy interactions, and something that could be long term. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to pull you one of my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. What does Aphrodite want you to know about this person? Whoa, look at this. Oh, I love it. Paphos, Aphrodite's home, home, neighborhood, family, roots, number one, love is close by, total confirmation. We have number one here with the transcendence card. You have family roots. You have the tree. You have family with the ten of pentacles, and you have roots with the six of cups. Ugh. Okay, I'm just blown away by this one. <laughs> okay, I mean, see why I love my cards? Okay, beautiful. So yeah, you're getting a message that love is close by, that this you're going to have that support, family, um, roots, and the number one is being emphasized again for you. Okay, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I love it. Okay, now let's see what... Messages come through with the Astro Dice. Okay, we have Aquarius, ninth house, North Node, karmic, karmic, karmic. The North Node is karmic future, karmic what we're moving towards, our North, north Node of destiny. The South Node is what we're releasing. Um, those are those past karmic things that you're releasing. You're moving towards your destiny with this relationship. You also have Aquarius, which is the sign of healing, the star card. And you have the ninth house, which is all about expanding your mind and your consciousness, okay? Seeing the big picture. So this is really a expansive relationship um, that's going to really connect you with your true path, your soul's path. This feels like a soul connection, okay? Wow, beautiful. Now, while we process all of that, because that was intense, we're going to do a charm reading to see what other little icing on the cake we have about this person. Um, sounds pretty amazing so far, I would say. And while um, uh, this, can, this can be a little loud, if you have headphones in, um, you might want to turn them down. While you do that, I'm going to remind you, we are trying and doing really great. We want to get to 20,000 subscribers this summer. We have gotten, you guys, 
from 14,000 the beginning of the week to 14,200. Thank you to those 200 beautiful souls. Thank you, thank you for being here. Um, you can do your part, just click the button, it's free. Every time we click the button, we get one step closer. Life's about taking those little steps. Thanks for taking them with me, you guys are amazing. Also, if you would like any more information about today's reading or just at love in general, I do two kinds of readings. They're called shout outs, a one card shout out and a three card shout out. You can check the link below if you'd like to book one. And it's just $11 for one card, $33 for three. And if you want to see what they're like, you can check out today's, which are in the intro. Okay. Ooh, just a couple here today. Off to the side, we have the fancy shoe, which can mean um, going out on a date, going somewhere nice, also like in an event, um, you know, something that you're going to that's going to require you to be dressed up. Also, it can just be that maybe you're a shoe girl, you know, and you love shoes, um, or, um, you know, you're just somebody that um, loves to get dressed up and loves to go to events, guy or girl. Um, okay, we also have the dream catcher, which is about protection, but also dreams coming true. Have faith in your dreams, okay, which was one of your messages. So we have the word dream coming through twice. We have it in this, the moon oracle, have faith in your dreams, and we have it in the dream catcher charm. So beautiful confirmation there. Um, we have this beautiful little blue flower and this is reminding me of like forget me not that's the energy that's coming through forget me not and this could be from someone from the past for some of you someone from home we also have the work the virgo the delicate intricate work of this charm which is about um your hard work paying off okay um so there you go. Those are all your messages. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, share, do all those great things. If you want to leave me a tip, thank you, thank you. Just click the heart with thanks or go to my website and you can get everything there if you're interested in a reading, if you want to leave me a tip, a donation to the channel. Um, thank you, thank you. We're going to get there. 14,200. I am so proud of you guys. I love you. Thank you for being part of the channel and I'll talk to you real soon. Hey, number three, you pick the crystal perfume bottle. Here is your reading today about your next boyfriend. We're starting with the six of swords that's reversed and we have the tower card, two sixes next to each other. We have the three of pentacles. We have the Two of Swords under the Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Hearts, which is the Queen of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, we got the Ten of Pentacles in the last reading as well. Okay, so let's start with you over here. Um, what I am seeing with both of these cards is some sort of... Um, past energy of feeling stuck, not being able to move on from a situation in terms of love, um, you know, kind of maybe staying in something too long kind of vibe is what's coming through. Um, the Six of Swords is all about packing your stuff, leaving something behind and going to, um, going away from the rough waters. See down here, the rough waters and how she's packed up all her stuff and she's heading out to more smooth waters, okay? So it's really about leaving behind some conflict. It could be leaving behind like difficult fighting and arguments or a relationship that's tough. Um, when it's reversed, it's like being stuck and not being able to move. And the Two of Swords energy is also that kind of frozen, um, not kind of making a decision or movement. And Sword energy is um, 
is, you know, tough. It can be. Um, in this case, I think it's about that sort of conflict in relationships or anxiety or difficulty making a decision or being indecisive maybe for some of you when it comes to relationships. And then what I see in the center here with the tower, the tower card is all about a massive change, um, something happening that kind of comes out of the blue or is hard or difficult um, kind of unexpected. It's like a lightning strike and everything crumbles and you're like, oh my God, I didn't see this coming. Um, but I think in some ways we always do. We just kind of, you know, not always do, but when it comes to relationships, I think in this reading that, you know, you, you have something you need to let go and move away from. And maybe right now you're dealing with that. I see you as this really, really sweet person, um, very emotionally sensitive with the queen of hearts, someone who's giving and caring. And I just don't think you were getting it. I think that this person really hurt you or you've recently gone through a kind of traumatic experience when it comes to love. But the good news is what I see coming for you is this beautiful, beautiful kind of happy ending. The Ten of Pentacles is so solid. It's the complete opposite of the sword energy and the tower. Um, this is stability. This is security. This is a home and family and feeling comfortable financially as well as emotionally. And I see you working on building that with someone. And this person's coming through as earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, someone who is very solid, somebody who is consistently there for you. Um, and I do think because of some major disruption or move, could even be a physical move, you end up connecting with this person, which is great. Um, and it's like they definitely are the kind of person that you will want to spend maybe even your life with. This could be long term. This could be a marriage a commitment. This is not like a quick, quick thing. OK, but it, but it comes about because of this big change. Okay, so that's the message. It's like being stuck, a big change comes and sort of uproots you, and then you start again, you build over, but you find that true stability. Okay, that's your message about this person. And it's like because of the tough thing you have to go through, um, or you're going through, some of you right now, and I'm sorry if you are, um, that just know that something beautiful is coming. Okay. And it'll just take you putting in the work, starting over. It's kind of like, you know, when we are like, oh, now I have to start over, start from scratch. But it's like, you know what? Sometimes we do have to start over and it's worth it. Okay, because whatever we were doing in the past wasn't great to begin with. It might be comfortable, it might be hard to leave, but in the end, you want something better. Sometimes we have to really experience this big change in order to embrace something better. Okay, so I love that this has moved towards something stable from the unstable. The Tower to the Ten of Pentacles is like complete change, so I want you to feel good about that, okay? Let's get you a crystal message. Okay, you have Consciousness. Number two, lapis lazuli, and that is the third eye chakra. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, you know, the tower moment can really shake us up, and it can really open our third eye and have us see things in a new way and maybe see a relationship in a new way. Um, lapis is a very spiritual stone. I love lapis being um, the stone that came up, the message for you, because it really helps us get clear and, you know, open that third eye and really connect with a higher level of consciousness. And it feels like that was blocked before, right? Because we have the two of swords reversed, which is someone who isn't really being open and, um, you know, it, letting that consciousness in by being stuck. And so I think that working with Lapis, if you're going through this difficult time, or if you've recently gone through this experience with something major change that was disruptive, Lapis can help you really focus on seeing the big picture and connecting with your higher levels of consciousness. Okay, beautiful message there. Let's get you a moon message.
be bold and make the first move cardinal moon wow yes be bold and it's going to take some you know doing for you i can see that um this is interesting because the bottom of the deck says conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so it could be by the eclipse season this fall, that things, you know, once we get to Libra time frame and then move into October during eclipse season could be when these big changes come or when you start to move away and from the kind of difficulty and you're more settled. That's what I feel like. I feel like if you're leaving your job or if you're um, leaving your home by the fall, you're going to be more settled. We're getting the cardinal moon message, which would be Libra time frame. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's get you a French fortune message. Oh, I love it. You got dog. And dog is a number 18. That could be significant for you. Dog is about loyalty and security and someone you can count on. Someone who's there for you and you have all the security coming through. This is like someone who's going to be your best friend. Someone who's loyal and your companion and who you can trust and who's also protective. So that's the energy that's coming in for you. I love it. I'm going to get you an Aphrodite message. These are my cards. What does Aphrodite want you to know today about this connection? Friday, Aphrodite's day. Relax, date night, dancing, bar, number 40. You'll have the best first date. I love it. Yes. And you know what? You need a good first date. Based on what I'm seeing here, I am really happy that you're getting that positive reinforcement and that positive message from the Aphrodite deck that this is going to be fun. This is going to be something you're going to really enjoy. And maybe you're going to connect on a Friday night when you go out and you're going to just have a great let loose Friday night. Okay, let's get you some astrology from the Astro Dice. Okay, we have Sun in Virgo in the 11th house. So I love it. We got Virgo energy here with the 10 and 3 of Pentacles. Um, the Sun is all about um, shining and um, shining your light, expressing yourself. Um, you have the 11th house of friends. Um, so there could be a connection again through friends, through work, through, um, you know, this move that you make, creating a new network. Um, but this is also about the 11th house is also about hopes, dreams and wishes. Okay. So it's like a real wish coming true here for you. There is Virgo energy. Um, and with the sun, there could be Leo as well. So maybe some of you are Leos. Okay. Now, it is charm time, you guys, and whenever I do the charms, I remind everyone, turn the volume down because it can be a little hard on your ears if you have headphones in. If you don't, don't worry about it, okay? While you're doing that, I'm going to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All of those things are really important to my channel. Um, thank you to the new 200 people that have just subscribed. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. We are doing it. We are doing it. We started at 14,000 this week. We're now up to 14,200 and we are marching towards 20,000 by this summer. So thank you to everybody. Um, if you haven't yet, just click the button. It's free. It's easy. And it really, really helps me. And you can also be one of the almost 15,000 subscribers. Yay. Um, and I will remind you, if you want a one card or a three card reading like I did today for India and Spiritual Goddess, you can check out their readings in the intro of today's video and you can purchase yours by going to my website. The link is below. charms jumped away and it was the cancer the crab charm so we have cancer energy that was very crabby and running away we have not one but two leaves which is all about transformation and change and letting go okay so you have the tower over there you have the six of swords and we have the letting go and the transformation also fall leaves september october cardinal Yep, we're getting a lot of the same messages here. 
We have the big open heart, which is about opening your heart to love, very romantic connection. Um, you have the anchor, which is all about wanting to anchor to someone. Um, it could also just be an anchor tattoo or some spe special message that you have with anchors. Um, we have bananas, okay? <laughs> Somebody loves bananas, but it's also about like peeling something open to get to the good stuff inside. Um, we have the angel wings of protection. Oh, you have another anchor. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we have doubles twice. When that happens, I think of soulmate energy and twin flame a lot of times. When we get, you know, two of the same charms, it's just showing that you're both in the same place. You're both in the same level and wanting the same things. We have the fancy shoe. We've gotten a lot of shoes today. Are there a lot of shoe people out there? What's going on? Um, this is about date night. This is about dressing up. This is about fancy, going somewhere nice, putting on your best. Um, plus, you could just love shoes. Um, and we have the good luck penny. Good luck is coming. You are moving away from difficult times. I'm happy to report this is a loyal, beautiful relationship. Okay, so those are all your messages. Please be sure to do all the fun stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to leave me a tip or a donation, you can click the heart right there, or you can go to my website where all of my information is. The link is below. I am sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you all really soon. Hey, number four, here's your reading. You picked the sun candle. Um, maybe you've got some Leo in there, or um, you love candles, warmth, fire, the sun, summertime. But let's see how it connects with your reading of who's your next boyfriend. Okay, so we're starting with strength. That's interesting because strength is the Leo card, and we have the sun here, so lots of fire coming through. Um, we have the emperor, king of spades. We have the king of diamonds, which is the pentacle king. We have, ooh, another major arcana. We have the chariot. So we have the chariot under strength, and we have Wow, the Eight of Hearts. This is the moon in this deck under the Emperor. Okay, Major. Okay, Major. We're having a major reading here. And okay, wow. The Magician, the King of Pentacles in this deck is the Magician under the King of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, the King of Clubs is the Magician. Wow. Okay, so let's see. We have Strength, Chariot, Emperor, Moon, Magician. <laughs> all right this is intense this is exciting let's start over here so what I see for you is you really overcoming some some difficulty or um being able to kind of step into your power okay because we have the chariot so you are taking control of your life you are really someone that wants balance maybe you are a leo okay or um you just are someone that wants to find that partner that equal that twin flame somebody who's as strong as you are you're coming through as very strong and so is this person coming in you're both coming in as pretty amazing, um, I will say. Number four, I'm excited. Um, uh, we next have the emperor and the moon. So I feel like you've been going through this process of kind of getting control of your emotions, your fears, your doubts in yourself and in others, okay? You have this need to kind of be in control all the time, Sorry, but that's I'm just reading the cards. If you don't relate to this, pick another pile by all means, but that's what's coming through. And if this is you, please write below. Um, but yeah, this is a very powerful reading. This, you know, the strength card followed by the emperor. It's like um, getting that balance, getting that, um, that not only, you know, being kind of in control of your money, of your life, of your finances, um, you know, but also getting in control of your emotions and not letting your fears or doubts um, get the best of you. Like not being suspicious, I think is a big thing for you. And maybe kind of like dropping some of those walls and, um, 
knowing that you can be strong without overpowering people. Like you kind of have to give, you know, you kind of have to not only just be in control of your life, but um, be open to other people being in it. Okay, so that's kind of the message here. So a big reading. This is major transformation and change new chapters beginning for you. Okay, so I have a feeling that if you've picked this pile, you're at a point in your life where you're about to make a big shift. Okay, because you have all these major arcana coming up. They're all powerful cards. They're all upright. This is very, very positive. I see you as a really powerful person who's learning about controlling, um, and not controlling, but learning to share and to be in relationship. Okay, what I see coming in for you is this incredible magician energy, a lot of Virgo, okay? Um, the magician can sometimes be Virgo or Gemini, but combined with that King of Pentacles, I'm feeling like this person has a lot of Earth, a lot of Virgo in their chart. Someone who can, who's a manifester, someone who is really incredible, you know, the magician's an amazing energy. It's like, if you want to have a great, amazing date, you know, be with a magician. Um, and so that's who I see coming in. And though it's, you're equally as powerful, okay? Because you have strength card as you, okay? And you're really, you're really learning how to kind of meet your match. I feel like you're both these magical people. Both are manifestors, okay? Um, and so it's about sharing. It's about learning how to share. Um, and this person's coming through as just as powerful as you, this magician energy, a manifester, someone who's creative, someone who can really make their dreams come true. Lots of Virgo energy. Okay, so ooh, this is a biggie. Please let me know. I can't wait to hear your comments. I can't wait to read them. Um, okay, I can barely stand it. This is oof, intense. I love it. Okay, let's get you a crystal message from the oracle. Insight. Peach selenite, number 19, universal chakra. Ooh, wow. I mean, I love insight with the emperor, the moon, the strength card, the magician card, the chariot. Like, talk about a lot. Powerful, powerful stuff. What's amazing about the insight um, card is that it's talking about the universal chakra, okay? And um, the universal chakra is located um, towards the upper edge of your work field, and it's represented by a golden, like, glowing star, and it connects you to the universal energy, which is amazing because you kind of picked a glowing star, for your reading. So it's like complete confirmation here. Um, and you know, when you're working with this kind of, um, like this, like gate, your own personal gatekeeper of knowledge. Okay. So it's like, you're connecting to the cosmos here. This feels very magician. This is like, this is, this is balancing that kind of practical knowledge with your psychic abilities, with, um, any sort of like metaphysical studies and things like that. Um, but it's like, I just feel like you, you're really connecting with this person on a really, really big psychic level okay um and so this this is powerful and also i love the color peach with the magician here the magician card and with you because it's kind of like that peach and that peach color um so i feel like you both um you both connect with this with this higher consciousness which with the peach selenite um the number 19 could be important it could be a date for you for them um but yeah this is this is this is a big relationship you've got universal chakra you have the moon the emperor the magician all of these major major arcana this is not your ordinary everyday average connection that's all I'm going to say. And if you relate to that and you get what I'm saying, please let me know because I know you do because you picked this pile.
You were drawn. You know this message is yours. Let's see what the moon wants to tell you today. Believe in the impossible blue moon. Wow. Okay, you're getting a lot of huge messages. So once in a blue moon is when this person comes along. This is that kind of energy. You know, a blue moon is two full moons in one calendar month, and that's what this is. So I would also check the calendar for the year ahead and see when we've got blue moons coming up. I don't know off the top of my head, but if I remember to when I'm editing this, I will put it in there for you. But you can always Google it. Okay. Okay, so you got the lady. Um, and let's, because you got the lady, I'm going to pull you one more. Ooh, and the fox. Okay, so there is a female energy around you. You're getting kind of a little mild warning here, like just to be careful of your energy around female energy that isn't as positive as it should be. With all of your cards, I doubt this is going to be an issue, but it did come up, so I just want to point it out, okay? Um, this can be really like kind of smart, cunning people, um, you know, that, that could not really have your best interest at heart. So I'm just going to let you know that. I actually am going to pull you one more because I wanted one about you and your relationship. And, um, ah, oh, thank you. You got the moon card. Okay. So you got once in a blue moon. Okay. The moon card is about magic in this deck. And if you'll look closely, you see the little rabbit is performing his magic in his little bowl. This is about magical connections. And you have the magician, which is about magic. And you have this beautiful peach selenite and the moon. So you got the moon three times, okay? And the magician. And the moon in this deck is about magic. Um, so... We've got a lot of full moon stuff, moon, connecting, spiritual, higher level, all of that, intense. I'm excited. This is a magical connection. You'd, you would literally have to be, um, wait, I'm getting so like sidetracked. Um, to miss the messages here would be tough, okay? This is a really beautiful, very special connection. Okay, and your Aphrodite message is pink, Aphrodite's color, feminine, dressing up, sparkly, new love, number 24, dating is in your future. Yes, I am excited for you. You've got something very fun coming up. I think this is going to feel like magic. I think you're going to be really, really happy with this relationship and with this person. Okay. Seventh house, Pluto, Pisces. Wow. Okay, so we have the dreamy Pisces energy of the moon, of spirituality, connection, consciousness. Seventh house of partner, marriage, committed relationship, Pluto, deeply transformational. This is big, you guys. Big, big, big. Okay. Mark my words, this is big. Okay, now I'm going to do your charm reading. I can't wait to see what charms you get. Um, this can be a little loud if you have headphones in. I'm going to give you a second to turn the volume down. Um, while you do that, I just want to take a moment and say, thank you, everybody. We are doing it. Um, we started the week at 14,000 subscribers. We're now at 14.2. 14,200. We had 200 new people. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I love you guys. Um, if you know, if you haven't yet, just click this button right here. Um, it's free. It just means you're following me. We've set a goal to get to 20,000 this summer. It's big. It's a big goal, but 
I mean, 201 week, amaze. Okay, um, so let's keep going. Be sure to click that button. And if you'd like a reading, one card or three card, like I did today for Spiritual Goddess and India, you can check their readings in the intro to see what they're like. Um, and if you want to book one, just go to the link below. I do them during my videos um, and it's just 11 or $33. So super easy. So right away, I up, oh, this is my Virgo charm. We're definitely getting the Virgo things. And also for anyone that has deer as a symbol, a spiritual symbol, I see deer and they mean something very special. If you do too, please let me know. Um, this is also Virgo. We have the number nine coming through, which is September Virgo time period. Also someone who could be into sports. Um, there could be a sport connection. We have angelfish, um, which is um, something exotic, something beautiful. We also have this wealth, money, and you did get the emperor charm. Um, lots of money, lots of expensive things. Um, you have the anchor, which is really a solid connection, wanting to anchor to someone. And you have the two leaves. Um, I love when this comes up, doubles, because double charms for me means soulmate, twin flame energy. Um, and if you're connecting with this in a big way, this can be your twin flame energy, the twin flame coming through. And... Um, Magician energy can also be Gemini, which is twin flame as well. And the fall with leaves, September. So we have nine here, September. We have um, the Virgo energy, Virgo. So I'm really feeling a lot happening in September for you guys. Okay, so there's a lot to process. You might want to watch this one again. Um, I think I'm going to because this is incredible. I am super excited to hear all your comments. Write them below. Don't forget to hit that like um, and to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share. Do all those good things. If you want to leave a tip, thank you, thank you, a donation, just click the heart or go to my website. You can do it there and you can also book a reading there. I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon.